perfect. So I would like to take you in this slot to a completely different topic. Um, I'd like to introduce to you a new initiative called uh, Data Together. Um, I don't know whether many of you attended the opening session um, earlier today, at least my day. Um, in that session, Mark Parson talked about um, the past, present and future of data collaboration. And in that context, he already briefly mentioned um, the Data Together initiative. Um, this is an initiative of um, the four organizations you see here. So um, two of the interdisciplinary bodies of um, the ISC, CoData and our World Data System, and also um, the Research Data Alliance. And the fourth one in the group is GoFair. Now, when you look at those organizations, um, it's pretty clear that they share a lot of characteristics. Um, first of all, um, they are all uh, truly international um, organizations. Um, what they also share is um, that they are independent and that they have a focus on um, the data community. Also, they um, don't limit themselves to um, certain domains. They are all, uh, you could say, a discipline agnostic. And um, they have, um, like I said, this focus on uh, the data related issues um, over disciplines. And finally, I think um, a, a strong character characteristic that they have in common is that they are a kind of, you could say, pathfinding strategic organizations, but they're definitely not funding agencies. So um, they have a lot in common. Um, and then the question is, um, would it be worthwhile to work together? Because on the other hand, there are also differences. Um, there are differences um, with respect to, um, you could say, the ways in which the organizations work. Um, they have their own particular procedures um, to get things done. Um, and they also serve, to a certain extent, different stakeholder groups. Um, I think, um, all in all, you could say that um, if you oversimplify that um, WDS, um, of course, looks at the repositories, the trustworthiness of repositories and data stewardship more in general. CoData has a focus on, on, on policy development and training. GoFair, of course, puts a lot of, um, of emphasis on uh, machine readability and machine interoperability. And RDA um, is an organization that um, does a lot in the area of, of adoption of, of um, common um, um, procedures, policies, um, and also standards. So they're different, but um, they're also in some aspects um, pretty much the same. Um, and, and those similarities are on the one hand in the fact that you see that their communities really to a certain extent overlap and that also the objectives that they pursue um, in some cases are very much shared between the four organizations. Um, and it seemed uh, like um, a good way forward also to improve the efficiency and the activity of the organizations to see whether we could um, coordinate more and, and work together. Um, here you see a nice graph um, that really um, gives you a bird's eye view of um, the similarities, um, the overlaps, but maybe also uh, the differences of the three organizations. And in the center, um, you see the core missions of the organizations around that um, a layer um, where the main processes that they use um, are um, mentioned, are listed, and um, the outputs to which those processes should lead, uh, you can see in the, um, in the outer layer. So this is an exercise that we've done um, to see um, how we differ, but also where we overlap. So, of course, um, collaboration is not completely new. Um, there are already um, many uh, working relationships between the four in different um, constellations, you could say. Um, an example, of course, is um, SciDataCon that now turned in the, into the um, International Data Week that is organized by three out of the four organizations, uh, CoData, WDS and the RDA. There are several um, working groups in RDA um, that are co-run by RDA and WDS. And of course, both RDA and CoData 
um, are associate members of WDS. So there is already a lot going on. Still, we thought it could be worthwhile to explore this further. And we started um, having leadership discussions between the four organizations as of last year. And in the first half year, we really focused on um, creating a kind of joint statement in which we um, articulate um, the collaboration and the, also the identities and characteristics of the four organizations. And I think this was also important because um, what we also encounter is that um, for different stakeholder groups, um, especially I think for the, within the communities of the four organizations, but also for example on the funders, it is not always clear why we need those four organizations um, and where they differ and, and, and how they complement one another. So I think it was a worthwhile exercise to also make that more clear um, for ourselves. And you can uh, find the link here on the, on the slide um, to the, um, to the um, brochure or document statement that we uh, published the four organizations. Um, this was out in March of this year and now we are um, thinking about um, what would be worthwhile next steps. So defining an agenda for those four organizations for this Data Together initiative over the coming years. Um, and of course we will continue the collaborations uh, that are fruitful that we already have like the International Data Week. And we will also continue um, our regular meetings, both on the level of the secretariat, the offices of the four organizations, as well as the level of the leadership to make sure that we inform one another of developments and we try to align and collaborate. But what we would also like to do is to really identify areas for specific collaboration. And um, this is on the agenda for the next meeting. So also from the perspective of WDS, we would like to bring something to the table there. And we have had some discussions within um, the WDS scientific committee. And you can see a couple of topics that went over the table um, in those discussions, uh, potential um, areas where we could um, see added value in working together with the others. So that could be in the area of um, the early career uh, research, research and networks that the different organizations have. Um, there might be opportunities in the area of, of, of training events that we combine. Another thought was um, the promotion uh, through the four organizations of um, the principles, different sets of principles that have arisen over the last couple of years in the area of data like the FAIR data principles, the trust principles for repositories and um, the care principles for indigenous data. Another area um, of collaboration is to make sure that we try to come up with combined responses to requests for comments and position papers. For example, we have done that recently um, with UNESCO. And finally, an avenue that we um, um, explored was, can we um, find um, means to collaborate in advancing um, the um, um, SDGs um, when it, where it uh, concerns the data um, influence there? And personally, I think that that might also be a topic that you have in a kind of um, rolling agenda that you could imagine focusing on one of the SDGs for um, a limited period of time and see whether you can set up um, um, actions around that with the four organizations and then move to another. These are some of the, uh, the initial thoughts that we had within the scientific committee that we um, could bring to the table of the four of the, of the Data Together group. But we would really also like to hear from you what you think of this initiative, whether you think it's worthwhile for WDS, and if you have any ideas of topics that could be uh, brought to the table um, on behalf of WDS. And I think I will stop there. Thank you very much. That was faster. Thank you very much, Ingrid, for this nice introduction and the overview about this initiative. So I think some of you posed already questions in the chat. So I will have a look at this. So there was a question, could data together be a mechanism for promoting diversity, equity, and inclusion in data science, perhaps through joint training capacity building that was supported by several people? Do you want to comment on this? 
I think um, that that could be a very interesting topic. I mean, where, where data plays a, a big role that we could very well bring to the table because I'm pretty sure that the, for the other organizations, um, this is an, uh, an equally important topic, yeah. And that is also, you, you know, you can tie that also to the, to the SDGs, I think, in a certain way. Mm -hmm. So any more questions from the audience, from the members? I guess some of the people heard for the first time from, for this initiative. So maybe it takes some time to go through the slides again and then give also <coughs> feedback to the emails you send. But I think it's not a question that we are supporting this initiative, but how? So, so what are the next steps that we should do or where we should support WDS to support in, the, in this initiative? Exactly, we would li like to bring to the table what the membership would like to bring us to the table there. Yeah, so any comments from you now or later on via the mail would be really highly appreciated. And I can understand that this um, is not so easy to come up with in the split second. So uh, any afterthoughts mm -hmm. are very welcome as well. Mm -hmm. I also think, and there are no other comments, I think it's one way to discuss this with the members as we are doing now and to collect some feedback there. But it's also, um, you mentioned that already with the example from UNESCO to communicate this joint activity also to the, let's say higher level to inform them who to address when it comes to data, data and science. So I guess that's also the other important direction. Definitely, and also there we are taking concrete steps. I mean, we um, we will speak. For example, we will organize a webinar for the um, for the uh, European Open Science Cloud mm -hmm. and the Commission, the European Commission in Europe. So that is one example of also, you know, uh, talking to funders to um, to governance about um, this initiative and what we uh, would like to achieve, and explain the differences and the overlaps of the organizations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a two way street in that way. Yeah. And there's a comment from Wim. Yes, thanks, Isabel. So um, just to, uh, to inform everyone that Ingrid mentioned the response that Data Together uh, submitted to UNESCO on the future of open science. Um, we have now also in the writing group produced an editorial that will uh, be published hopefully in the Data Science Journal in a, in a short space of time. And in that um, editorial, we asked the community formally for their feedback, but we've also agreed that we will be sending specific requests to WDS members to at least have a look at the editorial and then mm -hmm. uh, give us some feedback based on that. And I think that will also help us to formulate our participation in data together into the future. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Wim. Any more questions? I think we had our 15 minutes already. And there's another question. I have been quite curious about the attainment of Agenda 2030. The SDGs are strongly correlated entities. And while I appreciate this chewing too, much makes it difficult to swallow looking at SDGs individually, individually it does not appear to be very convincing. Kasim, do you want to comment on this? Uh, <clears throat> yes, thank you very much indeed for, you know, the, the concept of SDGs has been coming up uh, quite often, which is very important as far as, uh, sorry, I got uh as far as uh, addressing the the ish underlying issues uh basically attaining the agenda 2030 is concerned but if you look at the sdgs they're, they're strongly correlated and and it's very difficult to see how uh, uh we can look at sdg at one sdg at a time because each of the sdgs is related to others could we, is there a way of focusing on an, uh, a coherent system that addresses different aspects of SDGs uh, together rather than focusing on one? I mean, uh, we've had 
people talking about addressing SDG number one or SDG number two or about gender. But I don't think that is the right way uh, because we, if, if you focus on one, you're losing a lot of attributes in the others and then you're not going to get the right solution. I think that that is a very valuable comment and I understand what you're getting at. Um, my counter question would be, what would be, I mean, saying we take on all the SDGs, uh, you know, with the four organizations, uh, is some way you want to, to, um, to, to catch that in a way that it's digestible? Um, and maybe the, that way is not to look at each of them separately, but how do you then identify a kind of role or task or, you know, doable job um, that we could take on for a period of time within that group of, of four organizations? interrupt here and just suggest that maybe this is a good topic for, for a follow-up offline. offline. Yeah. No, I just wanted to do that, yeah. Sorry, Isabel. <laughs> Thank you all for your contributions. And <laughs> Thank I you very much, over to